the TID Radio TDH8 version 2. That's what's up today on this side of the radio. Let's check it out. The TID Radio TDH8 version 2. Let's check out what comes in the box. Now this will be a special packaging as they sent me a uh, bundle package from uh, Amazon which has an extra antenna and all that. We'll take a look at what's on the inside. I know you guys love the unboxing video, right? How about this? Okay, that's better. This will be the Amazon expanded bundle. I'll leave a affiliate link in the description for both the radio and this particular expanded bundle. I believe right now the expanded bundle, which we'll go through the parts in just a moment, or is at $89.99 uh, at the time of this report recording, and $69.99 uh, for just the radio, the charger, etc. If you would like to buy direct from tidradio.com, they don't offer the expansion, but you can save 20% by using coupon code K5QBF at checkout and you'll save 20%, making the radio about $55.99 if the math is correct. But let's uh, go over the expanded bundle and, and uh, we get the radio, we get the standard antenna, you get the longer antenna. I believe this is a uh, the TID Radio 771, looks like a Nagoya if you ask me, but that's just me. And then you get the speaker mic that comes along with it and it looks like that, yep. And you get an extra battery pack. This radio, come on, focus camera. This radio is a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. And I will say that it will last three days on standby. I've tried that. Uh, one cool upgrade for, the, for version two of this is the USB type C charging and the indicator light red when it's uh, charging and green when it is full. You get a USB C charger. You get a neck lanyard. Who doesn't want to wear a radio around their neck, of course. And you get a wrist strap and you get a pretty decent manual, which covers just about every function in the radio. And it does it pretty well if I do say so myself. But let's take a look around the radio. And according to TID Radio, what they changed in version two is they have upgraded the speaker and the sound, which I will say the sound sounds very good. And we'll go through some tests here shortly. And then they also added the USB-C charging. Uh, looking at the face of the radio, you've got your VFO uh, or channel mode. You've got Bluetooth. This can be programmed via their app, OD Master, via Bluetooth. I highly recommend that you uh, download that app. It makes it super simple. And you can give them all fake information so that uh, not to expose yourself, as some previous videos may have uh, noted. And I will say that, uh, so I'm sorry, so the... Uh, this button is will switch between VFO A and B. You can change this to where this would show you if it is a uh, the name of the channel, but it will also display the frequency at the top if you like. Uh, a little, some people prefer to see the, the channel name and some people pr prefer to see um, the frequency. Well, this gives you the option of doing both. Uh, menu button and the exit button up and down inside the menu is pretty much straightforward on any other HT you've ever used. On the side, you have two programmable buttons. Uh, right now it is flashlight, and this is the NOAA radio, net weather radio function. So this is already built in. And these are already, already stored into the radio. So there you go. You don't have to worry about programming them. They're already there for you. You can change this to whatever you like. Uh, PTT, the antenna port, a really cool light, and then this button is a third programmable button that you could put pretty much anything you want on there as well. All this is programmable via the app. Volume knob, on the side you hear you have your standard Kenwood K-Type connector. You have a really sturdy back, uh, belt clip that connects to the radio itself, not the battery. So when you change batteries, you don't have to worry about having an additional belt clip. So far, this radio has impressed me. Now, it says it puts out 10 watts across the top. I don't have a way of testing that, so we'll just take them at their word. This is the transmit audio of the TID Radio TDH8 using the hand mic. Testing, testing, testing. Kilo 5 Quebec Bravo Foxtrot from the hand mic of the TDH8 from TID Radio. This is the receive audio of the TID Radio TDH8 from the front speaker. Test, test, test. Kilo 5 Quebec Bravo Foxtrot. This is the receive audio of the hand mic of the TID Radio TDH8. Testing, testing, testing. Hand mic, TDH8. K5. 
audio from the front-facing microphone of the TIG Radio TDH-8. Testing, testing, testing. Kilo 5, Quebec, Bravo, Fox Drum. All right, let's take a stroll through the menu option. As you can see, what I was, as I was mentioning, uh, we've got the, it's in, the, the VFOA is in channel mode, and I've got it to where it displays the channel name at the bottom, but it will also show you the frequency at the top. I think that's a really cool feature. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You have squelch, you've got whichever steps, you have your transmit power, you have a power save uh, program built into the radio. It will save, make, you, uh, make the battery last even longer. Vox, your, uh, if you want to run wide or narrow bandwidth, backlight. The D-Weight, that's, uh, that's their name for dual watch. It'll actually listen to both channels and whichever one has a signal on it, that's which one the radio will, will jump to. Um, I turn the beep off because it's very annoying. Uh, the timeout timer, you can uh, set that uh, to whatever you would like. The, this will be your receive DCS and your receive CTCSS. Um, and then is transmit, uh, transmit for DCS and CTCSS as well. Uh, Vox, if you would like, to, I'm sorry, uh, voice would be the voice prompt. I've also just turned that off because that's also annoying. And then uh, you can select which, uh, which VFO you'd like to tra transmit from. Uh, scan add, if you want to scan your memory channels, you'll have to add them to your scan list. That way that you can uh, scan through them. That's kind of annoying. I wish it would just scan the memory modes without having to change anything, change anything but that's the way they have it set up. Maybe after this video, uh, they will uh, make a change to that. As you can see here, uh, the mode for VFO-A will show the name. The mode for VFO-B will show the frequency. Uh, busy channel lock, you can turn that off and on. I recommend that being on. So let's go back and change that. That way, if someone else is talking, you don't uh, interrupt them or try to throw a signal into the repeater. Um, you've got uh, auto lock, or auto, yeah, auto lock. Got that turned off. That will be your repeater direction shift. This is the offset for half, whichever, when you're uh, face programming the repeater in. Uh, you can save it to memory directly from the face. You can delete those from the face as well. Um, the alarm mode. Uh, it will transmit in a, a very annoying signal in case you get into trouble uh, where people could find you. I'm not quite sure what the other use that would have, but it's in there. Uh, you can also scan CTCS tones to see what repeat the repeater is using. Uh, you can also do the same with DCS. This will turn the squelch tail off. And of course, if you want a Roger beep, you have that option. Uh, you can also, the repeater tone, I believe this is used in Europe more than the United States, it will transmit the 1750 hertz tone uh, for the repeater as well. Uh, and then you can set this uh, um, into English or any other language you would like. Uh, hopping R uh, RX, not quite sure what that is or how we would use it, but it's in there. Uh, you have your reset. So the sync is interesting. If you turn, it, which ha it, you would think it would be where it would sync the VFOs, but all it does is save that, go back. It takes away the, uh, the dual view function and just makes it as one function or one view. I actually prefer to have the, uh, the sync on. That way you kind of get the full picture of the screen here. I will say the screen's really impressive, very bright, colorful. Uh, I, I like that. You'll see this off here on the side. If you're transmitting a CTCSS tone, it will say CTCSS. If you're transmitting a DCS tone, it will show that as well. Uh, PTT ID, DTM offset ID, um, yeah. So there you go, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's been just like pretty much any other HT out there. Uh, the only thing I wish that was a little bit different is if you're gonna have face programmable repeater functions, put all of those repeat, repeater uh, programming options up all together. That way you can set them all at once and not have to jump down to four or five different menu options. Now I was talking earlier about there being a ability to Bluetooth program and it's very simple to do. You hit the BL button and then it pops up Bluetooth here. Now you want to download their app which is called OD Master and it looks like this. So what you want to do is go ahead and register and you can use any fake information that you like. And what this allows you to do is to cache or to store things on the web where you can bring them into this, into this application and onto your radio. And we're gonna go over the web interface shortly. But you hit the program button, hit connect Bluetooth, 
it will see the Bluetooth, connect to it, select the model, and that's TID Radio TDH8, and we can read. There's no wires, drivers, anything. It makes it very simple for you to program this radio. And that's one of the things that, that I really like about what they've done uh, with this radio in particular. If you have a, a Baofeng or something else and you have their wireless programmer, you can also bring the code plug from one of your other radios, save it in here, and then you can open them up in two different uh, web pages and sync them together so you can transfer your code plug or your programming setup from one to the next. Once you read from the radio, it will read everything that's in there. You have the option to change some of the functions. You can set the default frequency. So if you, when you go to uh, VFO mode, you can set what default frequency will be in that uh, VFO. So I've got uh, 146.52 and 446.0 as my default when I'm in VFO mode. When I'm in channel mode, it'll go back to uh, channel one. Uh, once you save it, so as you can see here, um, this is the, the CPS that I had in the radio, and then this is the one that I imported from the website. We'll jump over to the website here in just a minute to go through those functions. So, uh, like I said, you can program pretty much any function of the radio uh, that you want in here. Uh, these are the, key, the soft keys on the top. That's how you would program that. Uh, these are the, if you short press or long press, uh, you can change all of those functions as well. So I really like the app. And then you can, if the radio is, is low on transmit audio, which I've have come to find out sometimes, you can actually turn up the mic gain uh, inside of here as well. Uh, you can also hit the repeater function. And I'm not quite sure where all this information comes from, but uh, I've been able to find uh, a few of them. So there will actually locate the closest repeater to you and you can you can actually save that to, the, to a particular channel in the radio. You don't have to program anything. You just tap that, tell it what channel you want to save it to, and it'll bring all that information over for you. I think that was a really cool feature. Like I said, not quite sure exactly where they get that information from, but uh, that is a really cool feature. Once you have all your channels and everything set up, simply hit right to the radio. The Bluetooth will sync everything back over, and then you can hit save to save what you've just done as your default list. So let's jump over to the computer and check out the web version. So you're gonna to wanna to go to web.odmaster.net and you wanna log in with the same credentials that you uh, use to log in on the app. Now there is a setting on the app in the account section and I'll put a screenshot of it where you would need to make sure that uh, you have that selected in order to have access to the web version. So as you can see here, I use totally authentic credentials finish the little puzzle and here we are so this is the list that you're going to be uh, provided with when you log in and it's listed on the left hand side by radio type so i have a couple of tid radio radios so i have the tid radio tdf6 and i imported the code plug off of that radio using the little bluetooth controller that uh, tid radio sells for about 20 bucks on amazon I'll, I'll leave a link for that down there as well because you can copy other radios to get them into the TD, tdh8 uh, so you would basically all you would need to do is download it open this code plug into a different window and then you can just copy and paste over between the two so this is the tdh8 so let's go to tid radio tdh8 and this is the list that I created. And it's very simple. There's your, your frequencies. If you have a tone, the transmit power and the name for it. And you just input all of those and then hit save. And you can save the name like this is the import that I, uh, that I saved off of the other radio. Hit save. And then when you go over to the uh, app on the phone, you wanna go to TXRX list. And I'll put a screenshot of that up there as well. And then you just select the one that you copied from your other radio and then hit write and it will write that list over to the new radio. So all in all, I think that's actually a pretty good feature to be able to um, copy between different radios using the web interface. All right, if you'd like to pick one of the TID Radio TDH8s up for yourself, you can head over to the TID Radio page, tidradio.com, and you can pick up the either the GMRS or the ham version of it. 
Uh, you can also pick up one of the Bluetooth programmers as well. And anything that you purchase on this site, if you uh, use pro uh, coupon code K5QBF, you'll get 20% off, 14 bucks off the radio, and that helps out the channel just a little bit. If you're interested in the package that I showed in the video today that has all of the things included, uh, that is currently $89.99 uh, on um, Amazon, and it looks like it's going to be out of stock for just a little bit because I think uh, some of us have put out a few videos on it, and that, of course, seems to uh, run them out of stock. But if it's something that you're interested in, I'll have the link to the Amazon in below, down below, and I'll also put a link uh, to TED Radio's page as well. Don't forget, coupon code K5QBF will, change, will save you 20% uh, on anything in the store. So, my final thoughts. Uh, I honestly think that the... Um, the TID radio, the TDH-8, I think they did a really good job addressing sound issues, uh, adding the USB-C USB -C, uh, to the to charging. I wish they would have included a cradle, a battery charging cradle, uh, so you could charge it that way. Uh, or if you're out and about and want to use USB-C, USB-C, I can't say that for some reason today, uh, so th that would be all included. I think you have to buy the uh, the cradle different, and you can find that over on tidradio.com as well. Uh, I like that the transmit and the uh, receive audio sounded really good. The Bluetooth programming makes programming the radio very simple. Uh, the fact that uh, they went through the FCC uh, for the part nine, for uh, 97 and 15, so at least we know that it's uh, do they're they're making an effort to uh, to keep these radios as clean as possible. I didn't test the uh, the spectrum on it. Uh, I was using this at field day for 2023 and all of the frequencies that I was on, I never interfered with anybody that was near me. Nobody complained, nobody said anything and it worked great. So if you're looking for a cost effective handheld radio, I think the TDH8 is great. Uh, it says advertised at 10 watts, uh, comes with uh, the regular antenna or if you get the, uh, the bigger bundle, you get the larger um, antenna or if you'd like to um, support the ham radio community and the testing you can go to signal uh, signalstuff.com and order a signal stick for it i've got one of those in orange to match the uh the orange that's around the tx button as always thanks for joining me today on this side of the radio i appreciate all your support thanks for all the likes the comments the those of you that subscribed i really appreciate appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time on this side of the radio have a great day